Hello world, this is Random Fix, and I recently did a review on this uh, Tel IT500 portable power station, and I was really impressed with the quality. And so when the vendor reached out to me, he said, hey, do you want to test out the solar panel as well? I always love testing out these solar panels just so I can go ahead and give you guys the best information out there and to see if they really deliver. And most of the times when they test these units, they're out in the desert. It's a perfectly clear day. There's not a bird in the sky and nothing to obstruct the sun. So in this video today, we're gonna do things a little bit differently. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and test this on a day where it's a little cloudy. We got some telephone lines right there and we got some shading going on on the panel as well. And we're gonna keep this review short and honest so that way you guys can make a better decision for yourself. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel here. So we are gonna go ahead and put this solar array to the test. I'm gonna tell you guys what it could put out. And then lastly, I'm gonna show you guys what it comes with, some of the things that I like about the solar array and some things that I would definitely change. So make sure you guys stay tuned till the end. This panel right here is rated at 100 watts. And 100 watts, believe it or not, is actually a lot of power. And if you had a 100 watt panel like this, you can go ahead and charge up a portable power station like that in about eight hours and you can use multiple solar arrays to go ahead and charge up certain portable power stations including this IT500 here so this is going to be a true test let's see how this does today so let me show you guys what the wattage is going to be on a day where you really have no sun there's no sun right now the sun is way behind the cloud if you sat out here all day long you would not tan one bit when there's no sun at all panel is going to go ahead and realistically give you right there we can see it 12 watts and I want to show you guys the difference when you actually go ahead and get this in direct sunlight and so that is something that you do want to do with a panel like this if you're going to go camping with this you want to try to put this in direct sunlight I know that's a little bit difficult to go ahead and achieve all the time and that's why I like the portable units versus something that's a little bit more permanent like on my vehicle I have permanent solar panels so if I go park underneath the tree I barely get anything out of the panels because shading really affects the panels themselves I personally can't believe this is putting out close to the wattage that it's putting out even though it doesn't have any direct light right now and we are at 19 and 20 watts right there so let's see if we can go ahead and have this panel peek out and see if it could deliver that 100 watts because we are in December here and I didn't take a long time to go ahead and set this up. I did it just like you guys would when you guys go camping and you just want to do a quick little charge on your phone, your power station and enjoy your time with your family instead of trying to sit there and MacGyver the last watt out of your panel. Since we're waiting for the sun to make an appearance, we're going to go ahead and talk about what's included in the kit here. So the kit basically comes with a panel and you get a bar of adapters and these adapters are pretty extensive. So this can work on Jackery units, Blue Yeti units, it has a USB-C right there. So basically you remove this, put the new tip on and you plug it into your particular portable power station and on the back of the solar array here we can see that it's got two legs I actually wish it had a total of four legs because that way we can go ahead and support that middle panel right here and then the last panel at the very end and we see that this solar array here has a smart box back here so the smart box is pretty cool in case you don't own something like this and maybe you just want to go ahead and charge your cell phone so this box has about three connections it's got a DC out that's the one that we were using to connect to the portable power station we got the USB-C 3.0 so this is a fast charger right here and we got USB 2.0 down here so three connections and you get to choose which one you want to use and you can use more than one at once so we can see that the phone is fast charging and the panel is charging at 72 or 75 watts 75 watts going in here fast charging the phone 
So if we unplug the phone, we might even get a higher wattage to the portable power station here. We can see that we're at 80. Check that out, guys. This panel here is 80 watts already, and there's telephone lines and shading happening right over it. So I'm really excited to see what happens when it's in direct sunlight. I've tested other panels that were in direct sunlight that didn't even get 50. And that box back there zips up and you could keep all your accessories nice and contained. So this is the unit all folded up. It's going to be 21 inches across, 14 inches up and down. And the nice thing about it on the back, it has all the directions. In case you need to go ahead and reference anything or if you're going to let one of your kids borrow this, they're not going to go ahead and get it wrong because everything you need is right on the back right here. How cool is that? And then we have a total of four grommets in the corner. So one here, one there, and one there, and one there. And what that is for is for these carabiners. So maybe you go camping and there's a tree. You can hang it on a tree or on a bush. You could hang it on the side of your car. So if I wanted to, I could probably attach it to the ladder right there and go ahead and have it off the ground. That would be pretty cool. The fact that these are included definitely shows that they do care about their customer and I'm really liking this so far. So I just moved the solar array because we had the telephone lines going right across there. And let's see how we're doing with this. And with the telephone lines out of the way, we are already at 89 watts. So the sun just showed up and check this out guys. We can see that it's currently at 96 watts. With lines in the way. 96 watts, guys. I believe that this panel is a complete winner. And we can see it just got to 97. So this is looking very, very well. If you guys enjoyed the video here on the ITEL 100 watt solar panel, please give the video a thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. So anytime I post up videos like this that are aimed to save you time and money, you're going to go ahead and get notified. Thank you so much, guys, and make it a great day. So it's getting a little bit later in the day, and I honestly never got a clear sky. However, the panel did very, very well. I did see it go up to about 96 watts, and I was really impressed with it. Since I know that it could perform at 96 watts, on a winter's day like this when I didn't get the perfect angle I didn't go and try to do the most optimum setup this is something that I would definitely recommend and take a look at as it really did deliver on what it's supposed to do which is deliver you a hundred watts of solar charging capability for your needs I'm gonna have a link at the end of this video for other solar panels if you guys just want to compare them but if you're in the market for a sub $200 panel that delivers 100 watts comes with some cool accessories nice pouch has the kick stands that are going to make it really easy to set up and comes with those nice little clips so you can go ahead and hang the panel here on a tree or on the side of your vehicle this is the one to go and check out and i'm going to have links and coupon codes to this product here in the description box down below make it a great day <laughs>